My hacks are running thin. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to Poke Mondays. Today I'm doing a Pokemon Water Monotype. Uh, my lead is Kingwin. He has Stealth Rock as well as a bulky Physical Sweeper build. Uh, Waterfall, Earthquake, and Drill Peck are his coverage moves. I've considered switching out Drill Peck for a number of things. Um, but nothing's come as of yet. I like Drill Peck for reasons that you shall see, especially against Grass Pokemon. Next up we have Sky Snake, who is a Gyarados. He is a, a fast physical sweeper with Dragon Dance and Moxie. Um, I've avoided going Mega Evolution for him just because people expect it nowadays. Uh, that does leave the double electricity weakness, but that is kind of covered by Krav Maga the Swampert. He has Swift Swim, um, he also has Roar, and he's a fast physical sweeper, or he's a bulky physical sweeper similar to Kingwin. Hentai is a Tentacruel with an Assault Vest, which increases his special defense, which is really, really nice because uh, Tentacruel already has some natural really great special D. Uh, and then I also added some HP EVs instead of speed. He used to be a Rapid Spinner, but that wasn't quite working out, especially because the only one re weak to Stealth Rocks on my team is uh, Sky Snake. So Gyarados is the only reason I have a Rapid Spinner, which means we don't really need a Rapid Spinner. <laughs> So instead, Hentai has Giga Drain, Sludge Wave, Hydro Pump, and Blizzard. Next up, we have Fat Body, the Jellicent. Um, again, this is sort of a, a bulky build. We've got the special attack and HP EVs. A really, really slow team, all things considered, but it works out well for my playstyle. He also has the Sleep Talk combo, as well as Scald and Shadow Ball. Finally is Elvis the Kingdra, he's got his own Rain Dance and uh, a super fast, super special attacking set with Draco Meteor, Ice Beam, and Surf. Really electricity is the only thing that causes this team a ton of trouble. I've tested it against multiple grass teams and it's worked out relatively well, all things considered, as you shall see. So this first grass team is definitely uh, the tougher of the two, it did take me a little bit of hacks to get through it. Um, but here we are, Kingwin comes out and I'm gonna smash this thing with a drill peck. He expects me to be super scared of his drain punching madness or mock punching, but I am not. I go for the drill peck, take that thing down to its focus sash, and then switch into fat body because I think the uh, drain punch or meg mock punch is coming. He's not able to pull that off, which is super, super nice. Hopefully he does not have seed bomb. No, Rock Tomb is his coverage move, which is awesome. So we're going to be able to smash this thing with a Shadow Ball. Boop! There's one threat already off the field. He does have quite a few big guns in this team, including Superior and Obama Snow. Uh, I assume his Amoongus is special defense, his Leafeon's um, physical defense. Oh, and then his Trevenant's probably the utility. So he does have the contrary... Uh, Gardevoir, which is unfortunate because now it's going to come in here and boost its special attack by two every time it uses that fucking Leaf Storm. So Hentai comes in, kind of is able to take it, not really, and uh, I smash this thing with a Sludge Wave, but again, it's not really able to uh, finish the job. Damn. I really would have liked the Poison there or something like that, but it is not to be. He goes for the Giga Drain, and is now up to times three special attack, and uh, at this point, I think it's it's over, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll still put in the good fight, but uh, I had checked out at this point and said, GG, I'm done, bro. <laughs> um, so Kingwin's back in here. Boom, there's another Leaf Storm. It's not resisted or anything, so Kingwin goes down as well. Fucking A, it's not good. It's really not good. Um, Gardevoir is an extremely scary grass Pokemon. It's extremely fast, it's got extremely good attack, especially once it gets its uh, contrary bonuses up. It's now Giga Drained itself back to full health, and uh, yeah, GG, bruh, GG. Normally, without hacks, um, this, this match would be over. Fortunately, hacks. He misses his Leaf Storm. All right, that's a little bit. I'm gonna get my Dragon Dance up, so now I am faster than the uh, Gardevoir. Or not the Gardevoir, what's that thing called? I don't know, the snake thing. <laughs> Ice Fang, Superior. Um, so Ice Fang on Superior, it is frozen. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit! We might turn it around. Okay, I missed that Ice Fang, but that's fine, that's fine. 
he's not gonna thaw on this turn, so if we can bag this thing up, um, then I will be up to double special attack, which is gonna be super, super nice. Boom. All right, there is uh, his main fucking wrecking ball off the field. I was keeping Marsh Stomp out of the way because uh, Marsh Stomp had no chance to resist it. Kingwin, Hentai, uh, Kingdra all have ways to resist it, but um, it didn't go exactly as I expected. I didn't expect the fucking superior to be able to boost so far or so fast. So here comes Tank, the Obama Snow. It mega evolves. I fucking hit it with an Ice Fang and it flinches. More hacks, dude. I'm so happy. All right, there's some more Ice Fang. Unfortunately, uh, my hacks are running thin, so he does get an Avalanche off, which is able to do a fucking huge amount of damage, which lets me know that if I didn't get the flinch, this thing probably would have killed me as well. I'm really hoping it doesn't have Ice Shard here, and it does not. So again, my, my Gyarados is getting his uh, Moxie boost. And really, Gyarados is the sweeper of this team. It is the finisher. It is what I send in once I see all the threats have been cleared out of the way. And uh, for good reason. I think I'm going to end up just sweeping the rest of this guy's team, which is fucking outstanding. Look at that! More fucking hacks, dude! Um, honestly, I probably could have lost right there as well. It's taken a crazy string of hacks to get me this far, but um, for some reason, Dayton does. You know what I mean? I just, I, I'm a happy-go-lucky sort of guy. It's, it's fucking really cool. <laughs> you won't hear me complain about it. And there it is. Three times attack. Oh my god, this fucking Gyarados is just wrecking shit. So, um, I expect, yeah, whatever he brings out is gonna get one hit from this point onward because you can't stop it. You can't stop it? God, he brought out his big guns too early and, uh, it was his undoing, which is fortunate for me. I almost got undud. Un undid? Yeah, undone. <laughs> and there's Mowgli the Trevenant. Goodbye, Mowgli! Goodbye! Ah, oh, Gyarados, you did a good thing. Alright, now let's let's see a, a, an actual match, okay? Less hacks in this one, I promise. Here we are once more! Another grass team. This one seems more stally, um, a lot less offensive than the other one, at least from the outside, just looking at it. So, uh, whoops. No problem. Alright, so he's gonna lead off with Rotom Mo, Motum, as I call it. And I've got my Kingwin out here. I'm going to set up my Stealth Rocks, and, uh, he goes for the trick, which is really interesting. I get a choice band, which is a good thing since my Kingwin is the uh, physical attacker like I was talking about. Um, and there go the Stealth Rocks, so that's going to be super nice. I'm going to switch into Marsh Stomp here to avoid the... Uh... Oh, I switch into Kingdra. He gets his Volt Switch, I suppose. Oh, he goes for Sunny Day. Alright, that's fine too. I'll go for Rain Dance to negate his Sunny Day, <laughs> which I think is so, so funny. And finally, he goes for the Volt Switch that I thought he uh, did way earlier. So, now my Kingdra has rain behind him, which basically means doubled speed, uh, but I am scared of the Whimsicott encoring me into Rain Dance, so I believe I'm going to switch my Elvis out here, especially since I know the, uh, the modem is gone for the time being, and into Tentacruel we go. He does not end up going for the Encore, he goes for Tailwind instead, perhaps predicting. Maybe he doesn't even have Encore, I have no idea, but I know right now that I'm going to go for uh, Sludge Wave. Which is a good a good move, four times effective. He switches the the Whimsicott out and brings in the Maractus, which dies to that sludge wave pretty damn quick. We're not having no uh no stolly shenanigans today. Nah, -uh, not on Hentai's watch. So he brings the uh the Rotom back in. I am not scared of this thing. It uses Volt Switch, but look at that. With the assault vest, um Hentai's just a fucking monster. Especially because he has uh, HP investments as well. If it was all speed, it wouldn't have taken it that well. Um, he brings in the Victory Bell. I go for Blizzard here, which misses completely. I guess uh, some some leftover hacks from my <laughs> from my previous battle. He goes for the Leaf Storm again. Almost nothing is done to Hentai, although Hentai does miss the Blizzard once more. The rain stopped, the Tailwind petered out, everything is back to normal on the battlefield as far as conditions. Um, but my fucking Tentacruel is... He's on the ropes, and he hasn't done that much except for uh, tank some hits. He, there goes the Blizzard, he hits that Whimsicott really fucking hard. 
and uh, it's gonna get some leftovers healing, but that's just fine. He sets up the Tailwind one more time, and I'm gonna take this thing out with the Sludge Wave, because the accuracy of that is way better. And it's also four times super effective, as opposed to the two that Blizzard is, because Whimsicott now has a Fairy Typing, I believe? I don't know. I, I, I find it so hard to keep track of the generations. He sends in the Motum once more, and now I switch into Krav Maga to get rid of the Volt Switch, or negate the Volt Switch. Here I know he's going to do um, a Leaf Storm, so I go ahead and bring in somebody who's resistant to it. Hentai! And Hentai's probably going to die to this hit, but it will be a free switch for me, which is a good thing. So, definitely, Tentacruel has done its job in this fight, that's for sure. So here comes Elvis once more. We're going to set up some more rain, I believe. And, uh, yeah, that Volt Switch does absolutely nothing, which is so nice. Elvis doesn't have any any defense investment at all uh, in either defense or HP. It's all special attack and speed. So it's really, really cool that he was able to do that. Uh, sets up the Rain Dance, which is nice. I think next is going to come the Ice Beam or the Blizzard or whatever I have. Draco Meteor. That'll work fine. Unfortunately, it does drop my own special attack. Um, but it doesn't matter because Elvis goes down to a Leaf Storm anyways. Dang. So... What can take out a Victor Bell? Almost anything on my team outspeeds a Victor Bell, <laughs> even without speed investment. So I send in the Sky Snake, Gyarados, we're gonna try and get some, some sweepings going on here, and let me tell you, I think it's gonna happen. <laughs> he brings in the Jump Pluff, I'm not fucking scared of that thing, I'll Dragon Dance in its face, and it, it sets up the Swords Dance as well, but I've got the Ice Fang, so it's far too late. I thought about switching out uh, Ice Fang for Bounce, which would give Gyarados the same type attack bonus, uh, but there is the chance that your opponent might switch as you bounce up into the sky and then come back down. Um, although if they're a completely grass team like this one, it may not matter at all. So here goes Gyarados again, fucking just devastating shit with that Ice Fang. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Um, once again, this team does have a bit of trouble with electricity. But overall, I think it's really, really solid. Um, it could be a bit bulkier, I suppose. I could go with a bit more walls, but I like uh, the tank Pokemon, the ones that are hard to take down, but also offer a lot of offensive oomph. And uh, yeah, I think my team was able to pull that out. So friends, this has been my water monotype. If you have any suggestions, uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments. I do hope you'll like and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. And if you do, friends, I will send you a Fruit Punch Gatorade. It is absolutely delicious, especially after a few hours in the fridge. So um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Get your free Gatorade. Stay hydrated. I'll see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye One, two... Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.